So the HTC 10 is here, it's the company's new flagship. Uh, we're gonna give some of our first reactions now. Um, here it is. is. This is the phone. Uh, my first reaction is that I actually quite strongly dislike the design. Uh, I have to say, I'm not, I'm not too keen. Uh, like design is what traditionally HTC has been really, really, really good at. And um, this one feels a little bit chunky. I'm not sure about these bezeled edges around here. I mean, just when you bear in mind that the competition for design is, is very, very stiff, like uh, Samsung's S7, is a really nice looking phone. This is a little, this, I don't know, it feels like something of a step backwards. Yeah, it was the time for HTC to kind of push the boat out because this phone is very similar to the previous few generations of its flagship. So, mm -hmm. as you say, Samsung has really overhauled this design with the S6 and the S7 is beautiful. Mm. I think they need to do something a little bit more. But design is quite subjective, so people might feel differently. Of course. Um, how about on the inside? What's going on? The on inside? the inside, it's quite interesting because what HTC has done is it tried to s uh, streamline its software a little bit. So instead of bundling its own web browsers along with Chrome and, its, and, and having multiple versions of the calendar, yeah. it's decided to only use the best of each. So you don't get. Uh, there's not multiple ways of doing things, which I know for a lot of people, switching to Android can be quite confusing because there are so many ways of doing one task. So yeah, you get those pop-ups saying, which app do you want to open this with? Exactly, and, so and you know, if you don't know, then you don't know which one's best. So HTC is, is trying to make that a lot easier to use. You're, in, you're quite into uh, photography. Um, I am. Is there anything note noteworthy about the camera? Yeah, so HTC has made a lot of promises about this. It's got a 12 ultra pixel camera. Now, the ultra pixel is a name that is used on its cameras before. What that basically means is it's got bigger pixels to let in more light. Okay. Sounds good on paper, but HTC has made a lot of promises about its camera performance on yeah. previous models, and so far they've almost all disappointed. All phones make big promises. Like we just here I've got the the Huawei P9. This is another phone that sort of only a few weeks ago they made similar similarly massive claims they about have. Their camera capabilities. It's I mean it's a it's every every tech company says they've got the best cameras. They do, and the problem is, is that some of them deliver. do have the best ones. Samsung and Apple's are brilliant, so the, the competition for cameras has never been more fierce. It, that really needs to perform in for cameras. Okay, so uh, it seems like, based on our first impressions, it might be fair to say that we, we're not convinced that HTC has done enough. Uh, we might change our minds once we've spent more time with yeah. it, but uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let us know what you guys think. This is the HTC 10.